so the prepared chocolates have now been in the fridge for a further 10 minutes so now they're ready to be sealed the filling hasn't totally crystallized that will happen later now in storage so we're going to seal them now to achieve the maximum shelf life so I have here some pre-crystallized tempered chocolate it is the same chocolate as we did the original shelling so we're going to use the chocolate to make a nice thin even smooth base The first thing I'm going to do is heat the filled chocolate shells with the heat gun. So my pre-crystallized chocolate will make a good seal with the shells. Next, I'm going to apply a bit of pre-crystallized chocolate onto the shells, but not too much, or else the weight of the chocolate might push out the filling. Make sure though, it's enough to fill up the remaining 1.5 millimeter space we left open in our mold. Then carefully wipe off the excess chocolate and clean the sides of the mould. Tapping the mould against my worktop removes all air bubbles and ensures there's no air trap between the filling and the chocolate ceiling and it will avoid the filling to leak out during storage. When that's done, I'm going to double check if my shell bases don't show any air bubbles and then I'm going to leave them in the fridge at 14 to 16 degrees centigrade for at least two hours. Now, we're two hours later, so it's time to demold our chocolates. I'm going to do that by gently flexing the mold a bit to loosen the chocolates. Then I'm going to turn the mold upside down and carefully bang it onto my worktop to release the chocolates onto paper. I always make sure the chocolates don't fall onto one another as their shiny surface is very sensitive to scratches. And there you go, perfectly shiny chocolates with a hard shell. And just look at that decorative detail. Beautiful. Some things to keep in mind though, always make sure your worktop is perfectly clean and dressed with a sheet of paper. The chocolates will be static upon demolding and attract tiny particles. Also make sure you wear gloves when you're handling chocolates. You wouldn't want to accidentally smudge them with fingerprints. <laughs>